Greenwich Time Podcast. Welcome to our Sahaja Yoga online podcast. Here we'll get to know a little bit more about meditation and also about people who have been meditating for a while. So today we have Anna Stefanova. So Anna, can you tell us a little bit who you are? Hi, hi, hi to everyone. So I am an opera singer and a vocal coach and uh, everything that I do actually happen and is based on my knowledge and practice of Sahaja Yoga and meditation. So uh, I just uh, don't know Perfect. don't know in what direction I can go because you know that I can talk <laughs> a, a lot and I don't want to be a lot. <laughs> so uh... <laughs> don't worry, Anna. So let let us know how did meditation impact your singing. Did you start singing before meditation or after? So, basically, I was singing kind of before, so just just for myself. And then uh, it was a little bit before my self-realization. A woman told me I have a voice. So then I went, because what she told me, to a vocal coach, to a teacher. And that teacher was not good, because you have good and bad teachers. And she looks good, she was nice. And she was shouting at me, so I lost my voice. I was not able to talk. I was wow. disgusted from singing. And then I said, okay, Lord, if this is the singing, I'm done. So then I was able to talk, but it was no power which could make me sing again. That, that was, I, I, I really decided that I will never again sing. So she really kind of blocked no, your, your kind of singing skills. Mm -hmm. It was just, I, I was disgusted. And... Um, I remember seeing the poster of Shirmataj on the street and we were friends, a group of women, we knew each other five years, so I told to each and one of them, obviously very seriously, 6.30, Saturday, you go to a theater. And they all went. And in the very last moment, I was having doubts, you know, just, what is that? So, and I took my dog and I went up in the mountains. But then, because I was in the middle of the city, they all came back straight after the program. They were always coming to me because I was in the middle of one, all of them. So uh, we were together five years. We were, we were trying to evolve, improve, change our characters, bad habits, actually, which never happened before. So they came and I saw immediately, this was just straight after the program. I saw a change. I said, okay, I'm going to observe that. So then they were keep changing in front of my eyes. It was not only that they were much more shining and the eyes uh, were changed, but things which we were trying to really improve in the character, they were happening with them just like that. I said, okay, that's impossible. So you could feel <laughs> that people kind of uh, who were meditating, <laughs> no. they were a little bit more kind of uh, special in a way, like more kind of shiny. It was exactly, it was something. So they were much more vibrant. They were much more calm, much deeper, wiser. And uh, it was a real change, you know. Uh, if you're with someone five years and he's just really changing in front of your eyes every next week because they were having lecturers from the capital, from Sofia, mm -hmm. they were going and they were working on the chakras every next week. Obviously, they were clearing their chakras. Something was happening with them. So basically, one of these women, she knew that for me, music is everything. So one evening, uh, she gave me two tapes. And she said, by the way, listen to that. Okay, bye. And I was just waiting there to leave the house. And uh, I put the music on. And that was the night I never slept. And in the morning, I was already singing. Whatever they were the words. That was music of joy one and two, and so I will it was be forever. Music, it was music in Hindi or Marathi, you know, some 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 Indian language, right? So exactly, this is a, an Australian group, mm -hmm. uh, which is like a bridge between the Indian Indian culture and our Western world. Because if she had gave me Indian music, I will not go for it because I'm even on that time I was interested by classical music much more. 
So these people, when they heard them, they sing really from the heart. They sing beautiful. The harmonies, the way that they, they, every, every song, every bhajan was made and recorded, just, I was singing with them and I told you that for months it was no power which could make me sing. So after that, it's a long story, I'm not going to do it today. So I got my self-realization and um, something also happened with me. Uh, when we have our normal life, we are gathering stress. Even when we meditate, we still gather stress. And I know from yogis I'm working with that even after we meditate, we still are having part of the stress left, but the huge amount of the stress is really gone through the meditation. And if when we don't meditate, so we have it. Every one of us has its own way. One, we can go to the mountain, another to the sea. But if mm-hmm. you really want to help to your body, your subtle system, you need to have it frequently. Uh, to me, Sahaja Yoga gave the opportunity to be really connected, to really start knowing, seeing myself, understanding myself, learning about myself, respecting myself. And I had changed as a personality and as a character. I keep changing, just looking at myself. I, I, I didn't do, I haven't done anything. Just this, it's happening by the Kundalini. Kundalini is like a, a balancer or something which brings us back to our roots and our real nature because all the stress which we're uh, having in our life just takes us out of that center so we can mm-hmm. go left or right or yeah and the kundalini managed to manages to bring us in that real center into our real self and uh, so oh, it's just some- to just to contextualize a little bit, so you were mentioning self-realization. Self-realization is the first exercise because maybe some people are just watching the video and they didn't have the experience. So self-realization is the first exercise that we do in the first class of Sahaja Yoga. And when Anna is explaining also about the Kundalini energy, so it's the Kundalini energy that work in our energy centers, in our chakras, and then you can have your self-realization. Sorry to interrupt Thank you, because I I don't know the order, what kind of audience is going to watch. But uh, yeah, so basically whatever happened with me was that uh, oh, I was, uh, they were already six, six weeks ahead. Six weeks I was observing and still, I, I couldn't believe. Basically, I said to myself, okay, I'm going now, but still I'm going to give it at least a couple of more months and it's going to prove that it's wrong. Now it's 21 years and still never proved that it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was very, very skeptical because on that time, first, as a seeker, I'm a master of theology. And the same time when that democracy came in Bulgaria and the borders were open and before that, it was an atheistic country. Everything was forbidden. Religion was forbidden. God mm-hmm. was forbidden. You're supposed to bow to the party, politic leaders or something like that. So they're like the saints which are not so and you cannot speak the oh it was uh, it was something which my family never liked it mm-hmm. uh, you're not supposed to say what you think and uh, when all that finished they came uh, and moon and jehovah witness and god knows what else uh, transcendental meditation and much more much more much more so uh, we passed uh, scientology as well which is quite dangerous so we passed um, uh, uh, just uh, maybe about two months learning about the different sex and I was really, really, really fearful. So I, 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 I was thinking that this is just one of them. Uh, and uh, now after 21 years, I can tell that this is the most incredible thing that had ever happened in my life and really transformed me, changed my life. It gave me freedom, and from the very beginning, when that Kundalini, when you start meditating, when Kundalini mm-hmm. starts rising and cle- cleanses the chakras, all the qualities which we have since childhood and which were suppressed because of that stress I was telling in the beginning, they just start blossoming. So with me, the voice which the people were saying that I have, but it was not showing, something happened. The voice was start coming. 
we, we were all new people, so I would learn the songs very quick and we will sing together. It was tremendous love, but unbelievable joy. We were all together and um, I just wanted to sing and I really wanted to sing. Mm -hmm. but, uh, now, I, I still would like to say that because for me it was a miracle because I have two high school educations, but uh, I, I haven't actually officially studied the singing. Mm -hmm. and in the music just through the years they are already 20 years I had learned what I need I had learned the, all the uh, theory and so I learned what I needed but I, I didn't finish it as exams which actually had saved me because uh, there are two ways of singing not only in the operatic world there are two ways of singing in any style mm -hmm. or disconnected and the problem is that in every style in that very moment i'm observing more and more tremendously talented people extremely talented people people with tremendous voices which because of the stress because they have to sound loud they have to make the impression they they don't know how to do it and um, they go to the disconnected way so um, again, this is applicable to every every style. I have people which I'm, I'm working with, from Indian classical singing to jazz, rock, and everything, everything pop. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I had studied, so you see, there is certain amount of percent, maybe let's say twenty percent in the world, which is still safe and protected, and the singing is correct, but. The way that it happened with me, so whatever happened, so after the first teacher, which was shouting, and I was telling you because we spoke yesterday, to go to a teacher is like to go to a doctor. Mm -hmm. or it is, and you just have to trust. And if it's a surgeon, God help if he's not a good surgeon. So whatever he does in your body, but you don't know. So, uh, and I, I, I didn't know even that there are good or bad. I had no idea. So I was already in the capital. I'm skipping a lot. And... Uh, still being absolutely traumatized from the previous teacher, being horrified that somebody is going to shout at me. <laughs> oh, oh, that, oh, she was, I still forgive her. And I'm still forgiving. <laughs> <laughs> when I remember, I realized that that stress is still somewhere there. So then I was with uh, a friend, Sahaja Eugenie. She invited me for Christmas and New Year. And she, we were on the street and she told me, very strong lady, amazing lady. She said, Okay, you have to be realistic. In that very moment in Bulgaria, and we were in tremendous crisis, horrific crisis. Basically. So she said, in that very moment in Bulgaria, with these high school educations that you have, you cannot find a job. So I'm going to ask you only once, and you listen what I'm asking and answer only what I'm asking. So she got my attention, obviously, and she said, is there something else that you would like to do? I said, yes, but it's impossible. And she said, there are no impossible things. What you want? I said, I want singing. No problem. My first cousin, she's retired from Germany. She teaches in the musical school. I'm going to call her. Okay. So I was collecting my uh, powers for two weeks until we, we, go, we, we went to her because I was still horrified. So we're going, mm -hmm. just too much. I'm already paralyzed. We climb. She's on the fourth floor in her building. So we went to her. Uh, we bring box of chocolates, they're first cousins. So, hi, this is the girl I was telling you about. We enter and she looked at me, she was huge tall. And she said, how old are you? I said, 29. She said, you're very old, what you want? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I was still standing, honestly. So I managed to say, lady, somebody said, I have a voice, I just want to know. Okay, come. So we went and she gave me one exercise from down to up and back down and the second exercise. And when she stopped in the middle, I'll never forget it because she was shaking. She stood up and her hands are shaking and I'm saying, now she's so angry. Now she's going to scream. And instead of that, she said, you have tremendous voice. It's unbelievable. I never heard something like that. Okay, you're coming to me. I, she was retired in Germany, so her pension was 10 times higher than the Bulgaria. She said, I'm not going to take money from you, and I'm going to help you. 
I moved. I was living with 92 years old lady. I was working first in the kitchen, then in the shop, just to kind of be able to make a bit of living. And she was really not charging me. But the thing is that without to know, she was putting my voice wrong. But I didn't know. Mm. And uh, I said that she's on the fourth floor because actually on the first floor, it was a lady, one of the most famous choir conductors in Sofia, in Bulgaria. She was just her neighbor. And she knew me, so she will shop from me. But um, always it was someone in the shop, so we just, hi, how are you? Have a nice day. And that day she came and uh, she said, I was alone. And she said, okay, finally, I want to talk with you. Uh, what I'm going to tell you is going to be the truth, but you're not going to like it. So now, for the people which never had meditated, it may sound a bit strange, but our subtle system is connected with, it, with our nerves and uh, is connected with our, our palms, feet, through all our body, our head. So almost from the very beginning, when we start meditating, straight away after that first exercise of self-realization, our palms start talking the way that uh, even uh, uh, Shirmatajis keeps saying that even uh, Muhammad was predicted that our hands will talk and nobody could understand what mm -hmm. he's saying. So you can, we can feel it. We can feel it on our palms. We can feel vibrations. We can feel it hot or cold. We can feel tingling. So it depends. And we know this is the most amazing thing because you know in the very beginning, actually, every new person goes, here is, here is, here is painful, here is tingling. So what that does mean? And every time I will say, just relax, it's cleansing. Look, there is, a, there is a board here. So this is that chakra. Just it's all right. It will pass. Don't put too much attention. It's just in the very beginning, everyone, and I know that, oh, <laughs> here, I dare you. That's normal. It goes. But when she said, so I was still kind of new because I got my self-realization March. Uh, yes, I was feeling vibrations quite well, but not every time. It depends how, what state I was. So uh, when she said that I was in the shop, really tired, it was almost, I don't know, middle of the, probably it was afternoon. And when she said that she's going to tell me the truth, that cool breeze, when it's cool, is the truth. When it's hot, there is a problem, something, or if you want to check, is it a lie or so? You you can you can really feel it. It's not it's not imaginable. It's imaginary. It's, it's real. It's real one. It was blowing cold, so I knew that I have to I have to really have to listen. So she told she is ruining your voice and she's putting it wrong. She she gave me a termin to birum. I had no idea. So basically, so there is another story with miracle, but I'm I'm gonna skip it. So. That woman, the, the choir conductor, was telling the truth, and it was absolute miracle the way that uh, I managed to. Just in another time, another another way is gonna take too much time, and I I, I don't think that it's necessary that one. But so, um, I managed to change uh, the, the. So the so you had like first one when you you kind of started meditating, and then this teacher who came from Germany start giving you lessons, and then someone else came and told. Look, these lessons that you are having with this lady are Perfect. ruining your voice. Yeah, exactly. And, and this was your teacher, your future teacher, or someone else? No, 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 that was not my future teacher. That was a choir conductor. Okay. I have a real teacher. So whatever happened is that thanks to uh, these people, which they, when, when, when you build up a habit in the body, especially mm -hmm. the singing, the time for which you're building up a habit. I had three months lessons with that uh, German, the woman which was retired in Germany. It took me three years with the help of another teacher. I was already in an opera house, kind of, but she was not the best teacher, but still she was really helping me. Three years just kind of to shift a bit the, the habit. So wow. it, it, because when you get, and that's the, that, that's the problem. So when, when you get it wrong, the body starts remembering and mm -hmm. our brain always in a stressful situation will bring the most secure. The most secure is whatever you had learned. Doesn't matter is that wrong or, or right. So always comes first whatever whatever uh, I had learned with that uh, lady from Germany. And uh, uh, 
afterwards actually happened. So I was keep praying. I was working with that other opera singer, but I knew that something is missing. Basically, she was helping to move the voice. It was put down under the neck. The voice has to be above the head. Mm-hmm. And the sound has to be passing through all the body and resonate. So it's it's a long thing. It's it's extremely simple, absolutely pleasant. Sound and Kundalini is one and the same thing. Wherever Kundalini goes, this is the sound, just the sound is more material. And um, so the, this new kind of, and then you probably found out a new teacher. Yes. So, so then I, through meditation and this new teacher, you kind of develop this technique. Basically, basically, uh, I just wanted to sing and uh, in that opera house, uh, we had, he passed away, but we had a director which was uh, more interested. Mm-hmm. Are you going to pay him or sleep with him? And I will never do none of the things. If, if mm-hmm. you don't do them, you don't sing. So I was not singing, but I wanted to sing. Just in the musical musical world, it's a very interesting place. That's why yeah. I'm not gladly going back. I'm having my concert <laughs> and I'm teaching and really, it? really satisfied. Mm-hmm. Not all of, No, it's not true because I have tremendous colleagues and there are tremendous, unbelievable musicians. Just ten mm-hmm. percent of these musicians are not trustworthy. Just I managed to reach one of them, so it doesn't matter. And um, I want I went to a, a international competition, and on that international competition, in the jury was one of the most famous Bulgarian opera singers, mm-hmm. age, exceptional. So after she heard me, she took me, and she had worked with me, and I had understood I understood what she wanted. Me to do and I was doing it but uh, only through the knowledge of meditation I realized why you have we have to do it so and that is another thing which is extremely helpful when I work with people because it's very different it's not only to push why you have to push and what are you doing and why here you have to be more quiet and how mm. and what are you doing so all this it's unbelievable and everything everything is just like you have uh, a puzzle, puzzle from different uh, places, and just in front of your eyes, the puzzle mm-hmm. is they're coming together, and it's incredible. And uh, it's almost like to train your body, you know? it's to tune your body, you not know? to let the sound or the sound that doesn't harm your your voice cords and doesn't harm your body. You know? So it's very it's very interesting because I don't know if people know, but I I'm one of. Uh, uh, and as students and it has benefited so much and also af- impacts also my meditation because uh, through music also it's also a, a way kind of uh, to self knowledge to understand yourself better so i think one of the things would be nice to to tell a little bit more Anna, is what differentiates your technique to the usual technique that people would you know learn at the university or a school in the, so there is a possibility like there is a girl which i saw that somebody was teaching her in nottingham a couple of years ago she came in uh, britain's got talent she sings completely correct so there are teachers which are good and they know what they do and they can teach correct and there are many teachers which are taught wrong it's a wrong system and mm-hmm. they do believe system and whatever happens is that uh, when you go usually when when in this uh how can we recognize i mean how can we know if it's a good teacher or it's a bad teacher so when you see the students so also when you see the teacher if you see the chin shaking Mm -hmm. see that the sound is with just so much effort so the effort, yes, you know that the effort is in the body. Oh my goodness me! And yes, you really are. But the people doesn't have to hear it. Mm-hmm. It has to sound effortless. Only whoever sings notes knows the effort which we are actually really putting that to sound flowing, or I don't know how to say, and beautiful and vibrant and uh, delicate. And so what I do is that uh, I am. I'm keeping, this is the original bel canto. This is the way that Placido Domingo sings and Luciano mm-hmm. Pavarotti sings. This, these real singers, which when you look and it's, oh my goodness, and you're fascinated. And uh, the sound has to pass 
It's called, in the singing language, they call it singing channel. In our language, we call it central channel. This is mm -hmm. the place where the energy is rising. Mm -hmm. And then the special spots, it's uh, on the place around the eyebrows and the forehead, which in a lesson I will ex explain why it what, but it's very important how you pass through it. In most of the techniques, it happened with people which, when, when you have to sing on stage and when you're on a contract, you have to sing, so whatever the opera is going to give you, and you want to sing, not only because it's uh, you, you want to keep your job, you just want to sing, but not everything is for everyone. So there are more Mozart singers and there are Verdi singers or Puccini singers because you have a certain quality of a voice and uh, just, but in, in our life now, everyone is supposed to kind of sing if it's a soprano or kind of soprano. So it depends, it depends. So uh, they, they try to sound louder and you have to go through the orchestra and there are certain things you have to do. I'm talking especially for the opera world. Uh, somehow in the last 30 or more years, that new technique had developed. I learned about that technique in Italy. Uh, I was uh, on uh, Otello, I was watching Otello and I, was, I spoke. It was only one singer in Italy who could sing. It was tremendous tenor with a huge voice and he didn't know how to sing. And it came that B flat note and he became red like a boiled crab. Here everything was coming and he couldn't <laughs> sing. The soprano which had a beautiful voice. She just destroyed the, 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 the uh, part of the Desdemona. And it was, it was one. And I wait, waited in the end and I went to him and I said, you don't, have, you don't know me, but I can present myself only if I sing. And they started that area of the, the, the Desdemona. And then he opened and they said, okay, just explain to me, please, why you can sing. And they couldn't. He said, because there, he said like that, there is a new technique. You don't know? I said, no. And my teacher, he said, said is Russian and I'm singing. I'm not famous in Italy. I sing in uh, Gruzia, Georgia, Georgia, mostly Georgia or Russia. Okay. Okay. And mm -hmm. he's a beautiful pianist and he is really a very good singer. And uh, now slowly he's getting more noticed also in Italy, but he still, he has his audience which adores him in, in Russia and in Gruzia. Oh, Gruzia and in Georgia. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, that was the first time I, I realized that. So then I learned more and more about the other technique. I realized that they force the sound. When the sound is forced from the very beginning, it cannot get through. And mm. first you have to get through, and then it's coming the national it's a natural resonancing place it's because there are different places with resonating caves so there is a place higher than the others where if you receive the sound it will really take its own real uh, power and size and it, it's gonna it's gonna bring you higher and this is the whole point the singing has to connect with the divine it's not a vanity it's not a self uh, expression or something like that it's some sort of a connection. Right? It's, a, it's basically the principle of yoga in a way, isn't it? It's almost like artists, they develop the singers, they develop this technique also to be connected you know, to this to this divine power. Oh, very, very interesting. I mean, I always kind of love to, to hear you talking about how you kind of approach your approach to, to music. That's it's pretty much kind of connected to to, to meditation. So uh, w one question, Anna, uh, what sort of advice you'd give to someone who's just starting to meditate? So uh, I just wanted to add that there are tremendous people and they are really doing that with tremendous heart. So they don't know that they are damaged because it, it has to, I have to be fair to them. And they're really talented and they put mm -hmm. all, their, and all their effort and they don't even know that they're on the other technique. And it's really sad. But uh, anyway, I love them all, so it doesn't matter. So um, no, we, we are we are really kind of used a lot of times also to see this the singers and, and sometimes uh, you know when they have a lot of pain, uh, a lot of effort. Sometimes it gives that feeling that they are yeah. also feeling more the music. They are more connected to the music, yeah. the emotion. Now you feel yeah, like ah. But if so, what I realize that if you are harming yourself, so. The state of the singer through the sound 
penetrates in the audience. So if the singer is heard, if your voice is heard, even if it's still, uh, it sounds beautiful and nice, still on the subtle level harms uh, the person which is listening. So it depends. So, so this is this is my opinion. I have no proof except that I can feel it. So uh, there may be many people which will disagree. So about your question, uh, meditation is a tremendous thing. Whatever I observed passing as a new person and um, growing in, in the meditation and in Sakaji Yoga, be aware not to force yourself. Follow your heart. Wherever is the joy and the love, this is the right direction. And maybe the most dangerous and mo most destructive for every one of us is uh, uh, fanaticism and that rigidness which can we can bring with ourselves from our previous experience. So just search the joy. If you never had tried it, it's your choice. It's the, there is no one and nothing which can force you. That is one of the reasons that I stayed in Sahaja Yoga, because here it's really between you and God. And it is you who it gave me freedom and it gave me uh, understanding about myself and uh, it gave me the music and all I, the, I had skipped so many stories with unbelievable miracles just I, I know what it happened with me so uh, how I met people and how the things were combinated without to move my finger and um... yeah one of the the fantastic things I would say about Sahai Jug is really kind of this this become yourself master no? your own master and uh, i think also music also helps so much i think in in, in sahaja yoga and to get to this thoughtless awareness state and um yeah so thank you very much Anna. so I, I would like also to just to to tell people who are interested also to get to know a little bit more about anna's work i'll show kind of here her website uh, people can see Anna, you cannot see at the moment, but I just kind of show in her website that she's a vo voice coach and opera singer. And she's taking, especially now that we are in, in this pandemic, that is taking online lessons. Even she's in Bulgaria, I'm also taking my lessons every, every Sunday online. And her mobile phone is here, so it's 074 eight four and you can get in contact on whatsapp also with zero zero three one six five eight seven forty five six three eight so you can contact and have some lessons with anna because i think would benefit pretty much all kind of your your meditations and also your state of, of being so thank you very much and i don't know if there is anything else that you would like to to add to the to to this interview, I don't know. I can sing something for you. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, I forgot you would sing. So it'd be I don't great know. if you could send Ave Maria. Every, everyone wants Ave Maria, so uh, I just put on the. It's a very beautiful sunshine. We we have a cold weather, with tremendously yeah. nice sunshine. Yeah, here is also like the sun is shining here. It's not so cold. <laughs> But it's uh, it's quite pleasant actually. So this is Bach. We were just let the, this is Bach, Ave Maria. Yeah, perfect. I hope so. Just I want to tell you that uh, this uh, device on which I have the Skype, it's a bit old, and the high notes are not gonna be possible. Uh, they, it's gonna break them. It it cannot take the resonance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry about that one. Yeah. Ooh leave also in the description or on youtube also a link to your video so that people can can check it out Grazie a tutti. 
<laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you and so I'm much. Kind of not with much warmed up. So if I have mistakes, please forgive. Just this is. I but just it was had beautiful. To... It was beautiful. I think it's really kind of uh, great, kind of to pay attention also the way you enter in each note, how how soft and gentle it is, and when you also want to add some strength, you you put the full power. So you really kind of have control of all ranges ranges of volume and and uh, and you know like and high or low notes so it's 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 really amazing thank you Anna. <laughs> thank you very much yeah uh, uh, to, to everyone and yeah no so just before we can we finish i just like to remind everyone that we have our online classes every thursday at 7 30 p.m and you can join us in our zoom meeting and have some meditation and Perhaps one day also we can have some, some music that would be lovely. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> <laughs>